Today we're in the Better factory in Johannesburg where they make vitreous china ceramic basins and toilets. The word vitreous means glass-like and describes the strength and high gloss shine that vitreous enamel gives to porcelain and ceramics. In this episode we're going to have a look at the way in which toilets are made. A toilet consists of two sections, a toilet bowl and a water tank which is also known as a cistern. The water tank is bolted to the top of the toilet bowl. When the toilet is flushed, water flows from the tank into the toilet bowl. A process known as washdown causes the water in the bowl to rush down the drain. The toilet bowl is then filled with clean water. The toilet bowl and the water tank are made from a mixture of clay and other minerals. Granite, sand, two types of clay and various other minerals are mixed together in carefully controlled amounts. The raw materials are still quite rough at this stage and are sent to large rotating mills where water and other components are added. As the huge mills turn, the particles are ground up into a very fine powder and a watery liquid clay mixture is produced. This section of the factory is built over huge tanks which are very deep and store the liquid clay mixture that will be used to make the toilets. This better factory is one of the largest factories of this type in the world and is one of the most automated. They utilize high pressure casting technology which produces toilets of consistent size and thickness. To begin the molding process the pieces of the resin mold are closed and held in place with hydraulic pressure. As the top section fits into the rest of the mold an airtight joint is created. The ceramic liquid that we've just seen being prepared is drawn from the storage tanks. It's sent to the molding machine through a series of pipes and pumped into each of the molds. The molding process is entirely computer controlled. Under pressure inside the mold, water is forced from the liquid clay through the porous resin mold, leaving behind the solid material. As this process proceeds, the layer formed on the mold's surface increases in thickness. Once the required wall thickness is achieved, the excess liquid is drained and recycled to the storage tanks. Next, air at high pressure is used to further drain water from the cast layer in the hardening phase. The casting process is computer controlled with different settings being entered into the computer for the various different toilet designs and sizes that are produced in this factory. Now the casting machine is opened and the toilet bowl can be seen. It's soft at this stage and is handled with great care as it's removed from the mold. The mold is washed and cleaned in a process which is entirely automated. The techniques used to manufacture toilets in South Africa are amongst the most modern available. Trained South African workers in the field of ceramic manufacture are in demand all over the world. 350 people are employed in this factory which produces 2 million pieces every year. The water tank and its lid are made in a very similar way. As each section of the press is opened, the water tank and its lid can be seen. A suction action within the machine holds the pieces firmly in place when the machine opens, so that they will not fall out of the press and be damaged. By waving his arms to break a sensor beam, the worker is able to cause the computer to switch off the suction, and the molded piece can be removed. Both the tank and the toilet bowl are quite soft as the clay is still wet. They are left to air dry for about 10 hours before being stacked onto a trolley and fed into a drying tunnel. They spend 12 hours in the dryer where they are dried at a temperature of 65 degrees centigrade to remove moisture from the clay. The toilet bowl is heavy and the factory is fitted with pneumatic lifters to enable the workers to move the bowl around with very little effort. The entire unit is smoothed off using a scouring pad to remove any rough edges and to create a perfectly smooth surface. This is done in a special vacuum workstation. The vacuum at the top of the unit draws the dust away from the work surface. When he is satisfied that the toilet bowl is perfect, the technician blows off all excess dust which is removed by the vacuum. The toilet tank undergoes the same preparation. The toilet bowl and tank are now ready to pass into the glazing stage where they'll be sprayed with liquid glaze that will eventually provide the glass-like surface 
which is extremely hard and smooth. Glazing occurs in two stages. In the first stage, a robot applies glaze to the sump and bowl of the toilet. Excess glaze is drained. Once the bowl and sump have been glazed, the toilet moves to the next section where a spray robot sprays the outside of the piece. The spray robot is a self-learning robot. Toilets are sprayed by hand and the robot learns the movements of the human sprayer. These movements are then consistently repeated for each unit to ensure consistent results. Each piece has a unique spray program. The color of the toilet is also determined by pigments in the glaze, but the color will only develop fully after the final firing. This spraying system is very versatile and can be set to spray toilets, toilet tanks and basins of all shapes and sizes simply by changing the computer settings. There are eight completely automated robotic glazing lines in this factory. After a unit has been sprayed with glaze, it's very dull in appearance. The bright shiny look will only appear after the item has passed through a kiln where the glaze will melt at very high temperatures. The units are loaded onto kiln cars and made ready to move into a second firing tunnel. Each car will spend 12 hours in the kiln, where a temperature of 1200 degrees centigrade will be reached to melt the glaze and vitrify the ceramic body. The ceramic units come out of the other side of the tunnel with a very shiny appearance and a very hard finish. The toilets are now ready to go out into the marketplace and are supplied as separate units or as complete sets in a box that contains the toilet base, the water system and the toilet seat and fitting instructions.